हेलो स्टूडेंट्स तो अनदर क्वेश्चन ऑफ सी एस आई आर नेट जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर इन फिजिक्स एंड दिस क्वेश्चन आई डी सेवेंटी फिफ्टी फिफ्टी नाइन तो दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक थ्योरी एंड जस्ट रीड द क्वेश्चन अ पार्टिकल ऑफ यूनिट मास सो वी हैव टू टेक एम इज इक्वल टू वन and unit charge we have to take q is equal to 1 is moving in a magnetic field and this profile of magnetic field is given so the charged particle is moving in a magnetic field and uh, over a region far away from the origin because at origin you can see there is a divergence so it is quite away from the origin and uh we have to calculate l is the angular momentum we have to calculate rate of change of angular momentum so we know that rate of change of linear momentum is force and rate of change of angular momentum is torque so essentially we have to calculate torque which is dl by dt and value of torque is nothing but r cross force r cross f so with this profile uh, we can see the profile of magnetic field is given as b not if i put it as r r cap it will be r cap by r square this is the profile of the magnetic field that is given so let us try to write the uh, r cross f so uh, uh, the magnetic field b is given by so in the same notation b not r cap by r square this is the profile of the magnetic field now if a charged particle is moving in a magnetic field student what is the force force is the lorentz force it is given by q v cross b correct so force is given by q v cross v and q is one so force is equal to v cross p now we have to calculate the torque which is rate of change of angular momentum so torque is equal to dl by dt and that is equal to r cross f so it will be r cross v cross b so we know a cross b cross c if it is a b c a cross b cross c is back cap so back r dot b minus cap so c r dot b correct now let us try to solve it little bit so if i calculate this v into just take r dot b there r dot b will become 1 r will cancel so it will become b not over r if i take r dot b okay so this r will be r r cap and 1 r will cancel and minus this is b here r dot v what will be this so if i take the v as a general profile v r r cap plus v theta theta cap plus v phi phi cap and take the dot product with r so only r will survive so it will become r dot means this this dot product will be zero it will be only r and v r correct so this will be a uh, b not just write the value of b here so what is the value of b it is b not r cap by r square so one r will cancel so i can take b not by r common and it will be v minus v r r cap now see this 
v minus v r r cap will be b naught by r and this will cancel radial component it will become v theta theta cap plus v phi phi cap and uh, by little uh, knowledge of this velocity in spherical polar coordinate you do this in classical mechanics how we write the velocity actually it is r dot r cap plus r theta dot theta cap plus r sine theta phi dot phi cap correct this is the velocity profile so <clears throat> this uh, v theta you can see this torque can be written as what b naught over r and uh, what is v theta so it is r theta cap and theta r theta dot theta cap plus r sin theta phi dot phi dot and phi cap and this r will cancel so it will be b naught theta dot theta cap plus sin theta phi dot phi cap okay now coming back to the options so if you see the options you have b naught and uh, b naught is there and then dr by d, uh, dt of r cap is written d by dt of r cap okay so that you have to calculate little bit that this will be given by r cap will depend on theta and phi so it will be dr by d theta d theta by dt and if i calculate dr cap by dt so it will be uh, <clears throat> dr cap by d theta d theta by dt and dr cap by d phi and d phi by dt and because we know r cap in a spherical polar coordinate so we can substitute the values here so that detail you can do and actually this value comes out to be after calculation this comes out to be uh, equal to what we have got here you see here so this is actually b naught d by dt of r cap which is which can be written as dr by dt so dr by dr cap by dt so r cap is r by r r by r will be r cap okay so c option is correct and uh, this part actually that i have told you this part needs to be derived if you want to see the derivation so you can derive this part so r cap in spherical polar coordinate you write but then i told you dr cap by dt is dr cap by d theta d theta by dt plus dr cap by d phi d phi by dt okay correct and then calculate dr cap by d theta and dr cap by d phi and substitute it in the original so you the same uh, thing will come and dr cap by dt is theta cap theta, theta dot theta cap plus phi dot sin theta phi cap okay so this you will get so what is the correct answer so c is the correct answer okay so this was very nice question so always remember that the coordinate system cartesian spherical polar and cylindrical their unit vectors their time derivatives their interconversion into 
one form to another all those things are very very important okay thank you